day. At first glance, it's absolutely beautiful. There are so many historic buildings, some of them falling down, some of them built up, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just along the river and, oh, there's some really cool white water there, if you could see, just heading down by the mill. The only problem is there's also a lot of construction out this way, so I can't get to the location I was hoping to stand in to get an image. However, that doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me. I'm going to have fun working with, with what I see here. It is so cool. And it is so cool. It's actually colder than I thought. So I've got my ear protection and my gloves. <sighs> very, very pretty. I want this water to be smooth so I have on my ND filter seven stop and I have the three stop graduated neutral density filter and that is because there's not much interest in the sky but the sky is bright so I'm going to put it in anyway uh, just to avoid overexposure of the sky the other thing is that the water which is moving has a lot of uh, foamy bubbles and I just, I want it smooth. I want it really smooth. And I actually am hoping to get the reflections of the buildings in the water, even though there's a lot of movement. With a long enough exposure, I think I can just smooth that out and still get a nice reflection. I'm going to go down to ISO 50. F11 is giving me 20 seconds. I'm gonna spin my polarizer to see what I get. Now, <laughs> with the least polarizing effect, the water is reflecting, which is actually what I want because it's gonna really show off the reflection of the building in the water. If I spin it so that the water is not reflecting then i'm not going to see that reflection too much that makes sense right i'm going to go for a full 30 seconds at f16 but first i have to get a little bit closer I was hoping to get a little further up the way because I'm getting a lot on this side so I'm not going to be able to go as wide as I had hoped so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit it's not really zoomed in this is my 16 to 35 lens so I'm probably going to be at about 28 and I'm just waiting because just across the way between the two buildings there is a pest control truck and it started to pull off, so I'm gonna wait for him to actually pull off because I don't want him in the picture. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'm gonna to have to readjust. I'm not sure how much I can because I'm quite limited here. That's okay, it's not a bad view. I can wait. While I wait, with these kind of buildings, with the amazing architecture, with the structure and the texture and all of that, I'm really hoping to go black and white. I find that black and white really, really emphasizes uh, just all those textures and the, the, the lines, the feeling of it. 
So black and white, maybe sepia. I don't think color, but you never know, maybe. All right, while the truck is still there, I'm gonna do a test shot. Always do a test shot, it's a good thing. With my test shot, I just discovered that I don't have the two second timer on. <laughs> so when that finishes, I'll turn that on. Okay, the truck is gone. <laughs> so we're gonna try this shot. I like the two triangular peaks over there of the two buildings with kind of nothing in the middle. Then I'm gonna try some other angles. And, one second. Get this going, F19, 30 seconds, ISO 50. And then this building behind me is, <laughs> it has amazing textures, let me just show you. It's falling down, I don't know what this building is. The one beside it is the foundry, so it might be a related building, I'm not sure. Obviously it's fenced off because it's in bad, it's in disrepair, but there's a whole bunch of beautiful uh, stonework and uh, textures and colors in that and I'm just going to snap a few images of that as well and then I'm going to head down where the gorge is so this is um, Allura Gorge around here and it's absolutely beautiful and there's a, a bit of a lookout over that way I was driving up the street and I saw you know when you're driving and you're like Ooh, a bridge, I wonder what's over there. Oh, 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 and then you're like, okay, no, I can't stop, it's a bridge. <laughs> but I get to walk over that way and see if the view is as spectacular as it seemed when I was driving by. Now I've got the 70 to 300 and I'm looking down this way. starting to rain. <laughs> I'm taking way too much time here. I knew it was going to rain, but Okay, let's walk.
rain is predicted for 12 noon and I am running out of time. <laughs> trucks driving by. <laughs> They're honking. They're probably wondering what I'm doing. This view is absolutely stunning. I love the rocks out there. Awesome. And there's the other side too, so I'm going to have to check that out as well. But first, pictures. Not a trail, more like a muddy path that's not supposed to be traversed, but people do. That looks like private property. It's behind a fence. <laughs> Would you do it? Anyway, it is starting to rain and I am going to have to sign off and I want to just thank you for coming along again. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited. I'm heading out to Barbados soon and then after that, I am heading to the desert, the California desert, the Mojave desert. And this is just, it's awesome. I'm heading to Barbados more like a family trip, but the Mojave desert, I'm going for some astrophotography and it's, Wow, it's like an opportunity came along and I just couldn't resist and I can't wait to bring you with me. So thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.